This is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and I'm going to document uh, a few things about my Darling amplifier. I'm not going to go into details, and I'm not going to continue with the heating up turn on sequence because there was absolutely no technical interest in, in, those, in that video that I just did on it, and the introduction of my Darling that was, uh, was not really... Uh, well, received with interest either, so I'm just going to document all of these things for myself. So here we go. For the input tube, uh, I put in 1 ohm resistor and 0.2 ohm resistors, and these two gives me exactly 6.3 volts uh, filament for 122 volts AC. And then, uh, what else? So after... Uh, turning uh, the amplifier on, I realized that the old uh, resistors that, that I've used there, um, and I, uh, I, I needed to adjust the value a little bit because the voltage now was running a bit too high. And uh, what I did, the loading for the driver section, I dropped it to uh, 50 kilo ohm plus the 25k pot, so I can change it between 15k and uh, 75k, and that will give me uh, a plate voltage uh, um, that's adjustable around between like the 130, 155 volts, something like that region, because I'm running the input tubes with uh, 150 volts on the plate and um, so now I didn't have any 50k resistors in my junk box so I used uh, five 200k uh, resistors those are coash pairs, carbon films, 2 watts each and parallel them so I have a nice uh, high wattage pack for the load for the input tube and uh, as you guys know this is a little tip in case someone is not bored to hell with this video is that uh, you can improve the quality of your resistors by using higher voltage resistors so for example when you look at uh, audio not top gear what you notice is that in their level 5 they put 2 watt rated resistors where they would put like a quarter watt in, a, in an entry level amplifier and that's because when the uh, resistor uh, can dissipate much more heat then it will heat much less and the key thing that, that creates uh, the problems with the resistor's behavior is that they change temperature when, when the, the power drop fluctuates over them and this changing temperature uh, changes the behavior of the resistor. Now, if it's a high voltage and, 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 and there's very little heat produced over them, then their behavior won't change that much with operation, so you will get a much better sound. That's one little tip. Uh, what else? So I use the 560 ohms, 2 watt uh, carbon film coa for the input tubes um, a cathode resistor that gives me 2.6 volts on the cathode for one channel and 2.9 on the other. I'm still using here 20 year old tubes that served 20 years old service in, the, in this amplifier and they are still pretty good. One of them, as you see, is stronger than the other. But uh, that's what you get in real life applications. You can get uh, voltages that are a little bit off. So when you read somewhere that it's like 2.5 volts should be on the, uh, the bias voltage depending on the tube, you will get more or less. Don't worry about that. If, if you get something wildly different, let's say like instead of 2.5 you get uh, 5 or 7 or, or 1.2, then that's really off and there's something really wrong and it's not just an aging tube. So going back here, what else uh, did I do? So I twin toyed around with uh, WinISD trying to find an, a different size uh, input capacitor for the power supply because the one that I used 
uh, the 7.5 microfarad uh, uh, camat that gave me too high uh, B plus that was 430 volts and I used a 3.3 I mean 3.1 mic uh, microfarad uh, obligato uh, premium it's 630 volts rated and, and this one gives me 405 volts for the B plus so what's happening here is that the power supply is operating in tuned uh, capacitor input mode and, and I am uh, losing about 60 volts compared to a full capacitor input and uh, it gives me a different uh, type of sound as well and it's, it's much easier on the power transformer. Uh, so what else, what else? Uh, I haven't told yet that uh, this amplifier also has a headphone output and the headphone jack is over there and I connected the 32 ohm taps of the uh, output transformer to it and um, yep uh, that's about that and what else did I want to, to say about it um, I think that that's all so right now what did I do I changed the uh, volume pot which is a, an apps blue stabbed uh, attenuator which was actually broken it was defective it was reused from another uh, preamplifier that was uh, defunct and then it turned out that the <laughs> this unit is uh, no good either so it, it will continue its service as, as a support for it for the main ground bus I'm not taking it out but it's not electrically in the circuit so what I did is that I wired the input jacks directly to the tube sockets uh, and, um, and actually the, uh, the signal input is going to the grid of the input tube and the ground connection is going to the uh, cathode resistor's uh, leg where it meets the ground. You can't see it because these big capacitors cover it. And I put 180, uh, so 180 kilo ohm uh, input resistors, so, so to uh, have uh, that as the input impedance of the amplifier. And those are quash per half watts that's what I had in my my toolbox so that's about it also the the ground connection from the RCA jack running there is uh, that four times 32 gauge fine silver and uh, that's from Rio Grande and uh, and and the signal that's uh, that's also antique steel, that's antique silver, so, so the Rio Grande is not antique silver, that's my current silver and I'm not using that on the input part, I mean the signal part because I'm running low on it and also as you see there's too much activity going on and, and with, the, with the soft signal, I mean the soft silver, if I put like a Teflon coating on it, it would be too hard to squeeze it in and solder it, it's just physically really hard, I would have to just take off this whole caboodle from here to, to, to reach it. So now I just use that, that stronger silver and, and it's a pretty uh, junky wire. That, that's from uh, AM, uh, AM Electronics, what's the name? AM Supplies, AM Systems. These guys, they sell silver for medical wire, medical purposes and uh, medical grade silver and, and this this is no good not, not really good for audio it is really really hard it, it is it's strong as hell so it's like a super hard anneal and uh, and it broke off uh, twice both on the that the, the tube socket side and there so once I soldered it in and then I tried to buy bend the wire and and it broke at, at, right on top of the connection what on earth I never seen such thing happening and I never seen such inflexible uh, and hard silver and and this bugger was sold as uh, f what, what on earth was that like I don't know 
So anyway, I this this we bought that uh, like 20 years ago. So um, anyway, don't don't use this medical grade uh, silver wires. Not not really the best thing to work with and. Uh, and here that that might be also uh, an issue for the sound so if it the bass and, and the highs are not in good balance this might be one reason uh, so anyway that's about it my little no lookbook about uh, wiring things up bye bye